Hello. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to change your password on Microsoft Teams. It's a very simple process that you can do on your computer, your phone's internet browser, or the Microsoft Teams phone app. I'm going to use my MacBook to demonstrate, but the steps are all the same, so you can choose whichever option works for you. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sign out of your Microsoft Teams account. It's super easy to change your password by going through the forgotten password option on the login screen. To get there, we're gonna click on use another account or sign up. That's gonna take me here to this screen where we'll type in the email, phone number or Skype connected to the account. Bear in mind, if you do choose the phone number, you're just gonna get a text with an authentication code that will be used to access the account. Since you won't be using a password to log in, you won't be presented with an option to reset that password. For that reason, I'd recommend using email or Skype. Once you've typed in whichever one you want to use, just click on next or hit the enter button on your keyboard. You'll be prompted to put in your password, but instead we're going to click on forgot my password. Now it'll automatically fill in the username or email we just used. So all we have to do here is fill in the security code underneath. Once that's done, we go ahead and click next. So then we're going to need to verify the account by text or phone call. I'm gonna go with text today since it's faster and simpler. So if you think back to when you initially signed up to Microsoft Teams, you would have been asked to connect a phone number to your account. For security reasons, it's going to ask us now to confirm that phone number by typing it into this box. We'll click on text when we're ready and then we'll receive the verification code. I received it straight away, so I'm just gonna enter it and move on to the last step. Now it's time to choose a new password. We're gonna be asked to put it in twice for confirmation. So once that's all done, we can go ahead and click finish. And there we go, our new password is all good to go. So if we wanna go ahead and confirm that the password reset has worked, we're just gonna click on this little link here. We're gonna to go to the normal login screen and do all the normal login steps, but we're gonna use the new password. As you can see, we were able to log in, so that means the password has successfully been reset.